Hey guys, this is Aaron, and we're going to talk about expanding um, power chords a little bit. Okay, this is uh, the next video to the first power chords video. All right, so the first video we learned that a power chord position, um, for example, is just like a fret three and the next string down fret five. And this would be a G power chord. Okay, now this is just a one and a five in uh, chord theory. Um, I have some um, some videos on chord theory and major scales and minors and. Um, you should check out some of those videos if you understand this number system. Also check out uh, Nashville Numbers, um, which is just chord theories and progressions. Um, so let's talk about what a 1 and a 5 is real fast. If we do the G major scale, which is just 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 3, 4. What we find is that we're playing the first note and the fifth note of the scale. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, so if you understand the difference between majors and minors, which is also another video, you can understand that a one and a five is um, two key elements of having a major chord and a minor chord. But since we're not playing a three or a flat third in this power chord, just the one and the five, this, this position can stay the same everywhere on the neck. Um, so hence it's not a major or a minor chord. It's just a power chord. So this is just a G. All right. So let's talk about expanding this G a little bit. Okay, notice here it's a pretty good sounding chord, but let's see if we can make it a little thicker. So what we want to do is add in maybe the G, the fifth, and another G. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the eighth note of the scale is also G. So they're just octaves, and maybe uh, check out my video on octaves if you don't know what octaves are. All right, so we have one G here, another G here. And then we have a D here, which is the fifth note of the scale that we're playing the power chord on. Okay, so we just made this chord a little bit thicker. Alright, and you can play this with your first, third, and fourth finger. Or you can play it with your first finger and bar the, um, the fifth fret on the uh, fifth and fourth string with your pinky. Or your third finger. However you want to do it. And just make the chord a little thicker. Alright, so let's move this chord down to C, with C, the fifth, and the octave, okay, and let's make this even thicker, let's add in the octave of the fifth, okay, we have the one, the five, and the eighth of the scale, so we're going to add in the octave of the fifth by playing the top string, okay, the, the third fret on the top string. So now we're playing four strings for this power chord. And this is also movable. So what we have now is a C chord. And the C chord's kind of kind of messed up here. It's a 5 and a 1 and then a 5 and a 1. Okay? So we have G C G C. But it's still a C chord. Okay? So your root note is still this string just adding in that low five. Okay, so let's talk about a few other notes you might want to add in. Okay, we have this scale, and, uh, and this scale also applies anywhere else you want to do power chords. If you want to do power chords on G um, or B, you can do the scale up here if you'd like. Okay, let's just stick for G um, for now, and you can kind of spread it out throughout the neck in different keys if you'd like. Um, let's find uh, another common power chord is a nine, okay? Um, so we're going to find the ninth tone in this scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if we had to go one more, this is G. Well, what's after G here? G, A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. G, A. Or G, A. Okay, so the ninth tone is an A, which is also the second tone, too. Okay, so we're going to add in this A on the ninth in this power chord and see how this sounds. Okay, so let's, so let's start with this one, five, and an octave, the, the three note power chord we did. We're going to take our fourth finger and move it up to the A that we're adding in. And the A is on the seventh fret, fourth string. And you can apply this to all the chords as well. C, the C9, D9, D sharp 9, E9. Alright, so now we have some, some other chords we can mess with. You might want to add in the seventh. Add 
adding in the eighth, so you can go between the seventh and the eighth maybe. Try the ninth. Okay, and it's starting to sound more like a song now, just because you know a few scale notes. All right. So let's take this and let's talk about a few strumming patterns and a few um, picking things you can do with these power chords. First of all, when you strum, you want to only strum the notes that you're holding down. And I know you see a lot of rocker guys in music videos and they're just getting out on the guitar and they're strumming everything. And the way they're doing this is they're playing, they're playing the chords and the notes necessary, but then they're muting out the rest of the strings. The way I'm doing this with this G chord is letting my, my uh, first finger lay flat across the strings, not barring the strings, just touching the other strings. So I'm playing the top one and then just laying flat against the bottom three. So it mutes them all and I can strum the entire, the entire uh, um, neck of the strings and it only plays the, stri the three strings I'm playing. Same thing with C. Okay, so that's your that's uh, one muting technique you can do with this. Hand. Let's talk about muting technique you do with your picking hand. All right, if you lay your palm on the bridge of the guitar where your strings go into the guitar, it takes away about half of the sound. Okay, so you get that good punk rock feeling when you pick downwards on the strings instead of playing them open. Okay, so I'm just strumming the top, the top three strings I'm playing and muting the strings out at the same time. You could try this with a um, with eight eight strums, maybe like a one two, one and two and three and four. And do that on all the chords. Okay, then try playing them open. Starting to sound more like a song. All right, let's let's talk about the nine. Um, a few a few cool things you can do with nines. Um, let's start uh let's start on an F sharp. Let's make an F sharp nine. So we're gonna take our first finger and find F sharp. E F F sharp. Play the fifth and then the ninth. All right, you can also mute this one out. Or you can play each note in the chord. So a picking technique that I like to use sometimes is double picking each string up and down. So starting with the top one, on each one, then moving it up, perhaps to an A, fifth fret, to a B. So it's starting to sound more like a song. All right, so let's uh, let's do that with um with a few of the other numbers that we've added in. Let's go back to a G and do it with the the nine, the seven, and the eight, and alternate them. Okay, so you're just having fun with power chords, messing around with the nines, doing different picking patterns, open or muted, and then finding other ways to play them. Alright, so look out for more videos on this, and uh, experiment with these. Have fun.